Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we made it up here to the stable, the Gerudo Canyon Stable, which was unfamiliar to me to say the least. And so we've made it here and we're on our quest to go to Gerudo Town. So that should be really interesting, just got a hot footed frog. Uh, I believe we talked to whoever we wanted to talk to here last time. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, but, uh, I'm guessing Cass is gonna say the same things too. So, I don't think there's much else to do. Picongo talked to us about, what was it, uh, the canyon. Uh, I don't really remember what he said, so I'll just ask him to check my picture again. All right, he's just talking about the the place right there. We're gonna encounter that place anyways, so we'll just grab a horse right now, and we shall be off. Okay. Yes, I'd like to take a horse, and this time I'm gonna take Xena, which has 72 bond, uh, because we need to uh, make sure we have that max bond so we can get those uh, ancient horse saddles and things like that to um, have a horse teleport to us because that's that's what we want in life I think we've covered pretty much everything that we actually needed here so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get out of this canyon right this horse sucks um, but let's soothe it and hopefully we'll get that bond up okay yeah it's not it's not helping Okay, yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? Uh, you can't bring horses here, or can you? Maybe you can. No, they just made it so that, yeah. This is how they made it. That's how they made it happen. So, I was right. Okay, well, I guess that's, that's as much of a horse ride as we'll ever get. But I've never actually been here, I think. So, this is interesting, and we we can already see the the place, the bazaar. That's what they called it, right? Uh, but yeah, we can already see that there's a huge sandstorm over there, apparently. And we're still looking for a statue to upgrade everything that we, we need to upgrade. What is this? Ooh, enemy camp. Let's, uh, let's, uh, skip that, okay? I guess we're not skipping it, are we? Well, I'm gonna try to just run away. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Electric Lazolfos, I don't know if that's what they're called, but I, I don't like those. No! Okay, here we go. Daruk's protection. Let's not... Let's not fight. I don't feel like fighting today. You better not zap me, okay? Where am I heading? Right there. And we're almost here. Oh! Here we have the Divine Beast again. Little intro for the Divine Beast. So I guess we're approaching... The, the final Divine Beast quest. And, of course, we all know that Vanaboris is a sort of huge camel creature. It's pretty interesting and mysterious, and personally it's my favorite Divine Beast, because the puzzles are so cool. But no more said. We'll have to find out in the upcoming episodes. It looks so cool, though. My god. I can't wait to get to it. Okay, now that we've had a little teaser, uh, we are good to go. You can see it in the background, that's really cool too. But we're just gonna make our way here. And uh, let's talk to her. Kar Karakara Bazaar, here we are. Savotha. This is Karakara Bazaar. Gerudo Town is still a far distance west of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though, you are a foe. Even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. Okay, tell me more about Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding Vaux, males, from entering the city. 
Okay, and uh, what about this Divine Beast? You don't know about the Divine Beast Vom Naboris? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Either it's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning, though it hasn't yet. It could easily head towards Gerudo Town or the Oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to know. Huh? I don't need any thanks. This is my job, after all. You know, the desert is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take the energy out of you if in no time. If you plan to head out into the desert, make sure you're prepared. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks for the advice. What? Oh my god, she fights back? I didn't know they would do that. Now now she's just on guard with this whole thing. Oh, look at that. The memory's right here. So let's just go and recall this fancy memory. I hope the, the cinematics are going to be fancy and everything, because this looks like a really nice place. But we'll just have to see... Okay, get on with it. That's a nice picture. I wish I could stay here during such a beautiful sunset. <laughs> oh, what's Zelda running away from this time? <laughs> Oh man, who are these people? Oh boy. Oh, and I'm guessing that's Link. Coming in and save the day. Well, I guess that's why Link is Hyrule's appointed knight. So, pretty interesting cutscene. But, okay, so that was cool. Nothing much said, though, was there? There wasn't even any words in that one. It's actually sort of disappointing. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't want to talk to you right now. Hey, look, it's Beetle again. He just magically teleports everywhere. What are you looking for? I don't know. Tell me what you got. Uh, nothing too, too special, I think. How many arrows do we have? 55. Well, these are pretty cheap, actually. So let's just buy them. Okay. And that's it. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. Yeah, Beetle is really cool in this game. Um, so I don't really know if there is anything special we gotta do here. I mean, it isn't, it isn't like, actually like the main town or anything, so there's not too much to expect from it. I mean, we can sleep here and there's, there's things we can buy apparently. Is there anything in, is this just a empty, empty tent? I mean, there's a guy up there. Can I, can I speak to him? This isn't like one of the old Zelda games where you can target people. So let's go up here and talk to this guy. That sandstorm. They say it stops for a few hours a day, but it hasn't let up even a little since I've been watching. Rumor has it an ancient civilization hid a treasure inside that sandstorm. I've been here for days waiting for the storm to settle down so I can nab it. I just hope it wasn't a bad lead. Wait, who did you say you are again? Yeah, I didn't introduce myself, but thanks for giving me a shrine quest. That's pretty cool indeed. Okay, who are you? Let's talk to you. You don't have a name. Robston? Hey. Aww. Hmm. You're a traveler. Ooh. Hmm, I see. Well, we're merchants. 
We wanted to make it to Gerudo Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let a woman into that town. And to think we came all the way out here? Our leader went to Gerudo Town to try to figure out how he can get inside. But he hasn't come back yet. I imagine he isn't having a ton of luck. Well then. Looks like we're gonna have to find a way to get into Gerudo Town eventually. Because so far we have no way to get in, in there. Assuming they're correct at least. Is there is there anything in this water? Ooh, there is. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's get one of those. Oh, hey, there's a Rito here with a quest, too. Okay, we're gonna talk to him after. A hundred rupees, that's pretty nice. So, what do you have to say? This, this, this guy is just called Guy. Okay, then. Hello there! But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. Yeah, I've been there. Oh. Ah, it must have felt quite cold to you, didn't it? I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try to earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here, during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I heard there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in cold parts of the Gerudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. Okay, and here we go, a side quest, an ice guy. And I don't know if there's anything interesting in this little building here. What do you have to say? Hmm? Oh? Vasak. Oops, sorry, Vasak. I wanna buy. Oh. I only sell arrows, but they're on the counter to your left. If you're looking for something else, try Gerudo Town. Oh, right. Vaux aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Hmm? Did you need something else? Uh, no, I, I think that's it. Okay, come back soon. So yeah, there's a, a bunch of different arrows we can buy. I mean, I don't know if the prices are considered to be good. Should we talk to her? We should probably talk to her. Oh. Savak! That divine beast, it feels like it gets a little bit closer every day. Mm. I wonder how long it'll be before I can get back to Gerudo Town. Well, I, I mean, I can ask, mm. but I sort of asked for Gerudo Town and the Divine Beast. There's a town to the southwest, made of up almost entirely of Gerudo. It's the largest settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active from morning to night. Mm. But, well, they have a rule that'll affect you. Guys aren't allowed in. Novo may enter, they say. Okay, well, that's really all I wanted to know. I don't want to be stuck here, but I don't want to be zapped by an angry creature's lightning either. If only someone, perhaps a hero, just passing through town could just take care of the divine beast. Okay, well, I'm gonna help you with that. And I don't know what you have to say. We've lost a lot of business ever since that divine beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the divine beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Nope, I'm sorry. I, I don't need a, a bed tonight, Savork. Okay, well, these are some weird greetings. Um, but yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be much to do here. Well. Well, that's annoying. It's always cool like how there's some uh, recipes on the walls. I find it really intriguing. But yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else in this uh, bazaar to do. Oh, there's a ladder up there. That seems intriguing. Uh, what's up here? Oh, so you can go on the roof. That's pretty neat. Uh, th is there going to be like a treasure chest or something? I don't know. Oh, right. Okay, we're on the ladder. I was scared there for a second. I don't know, man. 
there's like, there's nothing up here, but there's some cool bones over there. I don't know what to do, honestly. Oh, we can see the shrine over there at the entrance of the city. And, uh, yeah, I've already mapped the city. And I don't know how we can get there, though. Let's see, I think we're gonna sleep until night, and I just want to see if they're, like, the, the people of the city, like, just change around a bit. Uh, because we're actually looking for a guy who will give us these, a uh, vi, or her woman's clothing, so that we can go into the town. I don't really remember where it is, but that's, like, our main objective here. Uh, I'm just gonna not go all the way around and just fast travel over here and not fall off and this isn't the best way to go up. I don't remember. I feel like he's up here, but maybe I have to go all the way to Gerudo Town first. I think I do. Um, unless there was some people to talk to here. I'm gonna talk to uh, the lady right here. Hopefully I didn't mess myself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to reset it today, so that's not great, but I'll see you after that. Okay, uh, now let's go talk back to this Rodson, Ronson fellow Savotha. Who are you? Uh, you, you're a Vo, aren't you? I, I am, why? Hmm, no, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh yes, I'm Rodson. I hail from Gerudo Town. This search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it. Search? Ugh. I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Helion like you, but I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? Huh? You don't know? Really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit depressing. So, I don't know what we have to do. I think I'm just gonna head to town. What is this? Ooh, we could use this. Never mind, we don't need this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll head to town and hope for the best. Maybe we'll find something over there. Oh, there are some fruits that we can collect on top right here, I think. Okay, some vault fruits. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot out here, because, uh... I've been warned about this, and there's some people walking across. Uh, what do you have to say? Okay, it's a Vo. You can handle this. Deep breath. Kyra, remember your training. First, you greet the Vo like anyone else. Savotha. Savotha. N nice to meet you. I'm Kara from the, the, from the Gerudo. I'm wandering the world, learning what I can, and seeking my dreams. And I can tell, just from looking at you, you have a place in my dreams, don't you? Did we meet for a reason? You're my dream girl, of course. <sighs> hmm. No. I know this one. My Vaba warned me about Vos who throw words like dream girl around. Let's just forget if we ever spoke. Savork, traveler. Okay. Uh, well that didn't go as planned. <laughs> it's always sort of fun to mess around with whatever they like to say. What is that over there? That looks really intriguing, but I don't know if I'll regret it. What is this, though? I bet there's some... Yep, there's some enemies. There's just some cool flags, I guess. I'm still gonna go past them. I don't feel like fighting today. But it's already warning me about the shrines. But yeah, the scenery's just really nice around here. So let's just go over there and uh, get to that shrine, figure out what we can do. I don't know what we can do, honestly. Oh god, we're almost here. 
We're almost at the shrine. Just one more step to the Dako Shimze Shrine, and let's talk to this guy. Oh. oh, I was so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? What? what? No, no. I I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of the of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, um... So you're spying, right? It's research! Research! And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. What info? Oh. <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now that the guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. Mm. Almost gave up hope. However, I have learnt only recently of a man that slipped into the, this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here, trying to spot him as he travels. Forbidden City Entry. Oh, that's part of the main quest. Well, that's really important. But I think we're gonna leave all of this for the the next episode. I've been recording for a while, surprisingly, because I don't think we've literally done anything in this episode. Uh, but in the next episode, cliffhangers again, starting to really do this a lot. Uh, but we're gonna go in this shrine and try to figure out how to get inside Gerudo Town. And uh, the sun is pretty blazing hot right now. So ooh, there's even a tower over there. Uh, let's map that real quick. But yeah, so lots of stuff on the horizon to do, heading to the final Divine Beast. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.